Well, I didn't expect for this to happen. Welcome back to Ruby on Nails, and this is my first PR package from Mooncat. I'm honestly, uh, a little shocked, but also very excited because now I get to bring you more wonderful indie brand polishes and... Oh, I was actually really excited for this collection. I was thinking about buying it for myself when I first started to see advertisements for it. Yeah, today's video is on Mooncat's collaboration with the movie and franchise Hocus Pocus 2. Now, I never watched Hocus Pocus when I was a kid, but the first time that I saw it was at my birthday last year, and while it is definitely a kid's movie, it's still very enjoyable and it's perfect for those who don't necessarily like scary movies around Halloween and just want something kind of silly and fun and are perhaps a little tired of rewatching Beetlejuice or A Nightmare Before Christmas. So with that part said, let's jump into my initial thoughts about the collection. I do want to start off by talking about the collection box that these polishes came in. I love the cover art of this. It's spooky, but in that kind of kid-friendly way, and I adore that. I do want to notice that it's a trifold. I think that's so cool. As you can see, it came with a little instruction sheet on how to use the cat eye nail polish. It also came with these specialty unicartons. As you can see, I've taken all the polishes out, but I've left the cartons because they're so cute. I'll add some close-up shots of that. And then it also came with a literal sticker sheet. This kind of reminds me when you would get like a bonus CD in some sort of kid book. Maybe it was a video on some dinosaurs that came in your dinosaur book, but I really like that they have a special place and it's not just floating around in the collection box. I also really enjoy that we get a little bit of a spell right here. I think that's a nice touch. I love the glossy over matte overlay. It just, uh, it's so nice. There's so much care and thought that was put into this. We get a lot of really neat little movie callbacks and just, just so many nice details. I adore it. I really like this arch that's on the back of the box. Now, if you're coming from some of my past Mooncat videos, I have this thing with those videos and I'm trying to incorporate this into all of my videos where I talk about the photo accuracy of all of the polishes. And this is something that I really want to make a huge emphasis on in this particular video with this particular collection because this is a new collection that's come out. It's the most recent collection in comparison to my past critiques. And something I want to say is that it really seems like Mooncat has taken all of the criticism they've received about their Instagram versus reality photos and all of the photography for these polishes are very accurate. I really like how they have additional swatchers. There's a couple of nail artists that you might recognize in those photos, so I definitely suggest you go check out the websites. It's really cool seeing people from the community on such a big website. I also really appreciate, and this is something I'll touch on a little bit later, that some of the swatches show the cat eye effect of the magnetic polishes slightly dispersed, which to me is probably the most accurate way you'll see cat eye nail polish. Because every time that I personally do magnetic polish, I'm never getting that ultra crisp line unless I'm doing it with a gel and it has a flash cure. I always get that super crisp cat eye effect right after I've placed it on the magnet. And of course, because it's nail polish, it takes a little while for it to fully cure. People say it's about 24 hours to be fully, fully cured. So in that time where that nail polish is curing fully away from the magnet, the cat eye effect will disperse slightly. Or for some other brands, they will disperse quite a lot. So that's something where I'm always a little hesitant when I'm purchasing cat eye nail polishes because I love how crisp that initial line is 
but I know from personal use that that effect will disperse over time and I'm going to have something that's a lot less crisp. Back to that, I really appreciate that there is some representation of that on the website because I never see other brands do that. I really love and appreciate the effort that's going into Mooncat's photography because it really just, it shows that this brand has integrity and I appreciate that. And I'm not saying that because I got PR. I'm saying that as somebody who loves nail polish and wants to see improvements in the community. So now that we've talked about that, let's talk about the price points a little bit because this collection is from a luxury indie brand, so prices are going to be on the higher end of things. Now, if you do wanna buy the full collection set, that is going to be $99. It includes all six polishes and a sticker sheet and the box. I do want to make a note that the collection box is currently at a pre-order and shipping for that pre-order will take place after October 19th. But if you're not in love with every single nail polish or you don't use nail stickers, you can buy the nail polishes individually and they still come with that beautiful unicarton for $16. And before this video came out, you could have bought the nail art stickers for $10, but unfortunately they are currently sold out. Now I do want to talk about the one side where I was a little disappointed and that's related to the nail art stickers. So if you don't care about the stickers, you're gonna really like this collection. For me, I wish the stickers came with two sheets because I know that the average nail art doer is going to be doing all 10 of their fingers. And this sticker sheet has a lot of variety within it and we're not seeing more than four of the same stickers. And while you can do a little bit more of an abstract mani, a little bit more of a skittle variety, I know some people like to be able to do all 10 of their fingers the exact same. So that's where I'm like, I wish there was two sticker sheets. I also think the price of $10 for one sticker sheet is a little bit, it's a little bit too high in my opinion. I don't think if, I don't think I personally would have bought the sticker sheet knowing that there was only one sheet for $10. But I feel like if there was a second sheet within that pack, it would kind of justify the pricing a bit more, in my opinion. I do think a lot of the designs for the stickers are really cute. Personally, I wish there was a little bit more of a witchy vibe instead of just a general occult vibe, but I know that the general occult vibe is going to suit a lot more of their consumer base than maybe people who like to focus more on the witchy side of things. I also do believe that the occult theme does really fit the Hocus Pocus movie a little bit better. I just wish maybe there was like a witch hat or like a bubbling cauldron. Something a little bit more variety because we do see a lot of stars on this sticker sheet and I just think, you know, could have been a little more fun to have some Halloween-y stuff, but that's just me and that's more of a personal preference than a, a genuine critique. Okay, so now that we've talked about it, let's definitely jump into these nail polishes. I am going to be doing the under the nail magnetic technique instead of holding the magnet on top. My hands get super tired when doing that and I've got six polishes to swatch, so I'm trying to make this as a uh, enjoyable a process as possible for me. Now, of course, this polish is magnet reactive, so if you have some fun-shaped magnets, uh, definitely give that a go. I think these colors will be totally conducive to that. But now that I've rambled for way too long, I definitely want to get into swatching these polishes, so let's go. Okay, so let's kick off this swatch party with my favorite polish from the entire collection, Amuck 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 which is a beautiful dusty magenta purple polish with iridescent blue flakies. And I absolutely love how those blue flakies look against this magenta. As you can see, that cat eye effect is a dusty pink and it complements the entire polish really nicely. 
I was able to get full opacity with two coats for this polish. If you have longer nails than I do at this point in time, you might need a third, but I am thinking that'll be unlikely. You would probably be satisfied with just the two coats. So let's continue this journey. This was definitely a second contester for my top favorite from this collection. Dab of Newt is a really fun light green magnetic polish with teal iridescent flakies and it has a very subtle gold cat eye effect to it which is a little bit different from what we see in the rest of this collection that focuses more on darker colors so Dab of Newt really stood out to me when I was looking at the collection as a whole. While that cat eye effect is quite subtle here in this clip from my filming, it's quite visible in person. So keep that in mind. It's going to be more subdued, but it is there. Head over to Michelle's Instagram page. She's the owner of Mooncat if you want to see a very fun manicure using Maleca Mystica. But let's talk about this polish because I want to. This is a navy magnetic polish with pink iridescent flakies running throughout and it has a silver cat eye effect. I really like the overarching color scheme of this polish. I find that it's not too common in the magnetic world, so that was super nice. I think I would suggest that you put this over a black base coat just to make sure that that navy really stands out and you're getting that true silver. It's a beautiful polish and I'm really enjoying wearing this one. Up next is Reclaim the Flame, and this is a red magnetic polish with pink iridescent flakies, and it has a pink cat eye. This is described as more of a crimson red on the website, but personally I find it is a little bit more pink leaning because of that pigment that is causing the pink cat eye. It's still very much red, but that's just something I want to note if you're looking at the description on Mooncat's website, and that's just my personal opinion. I really like this polish. It was probably the most opaque out of all of them, so if that's something you specifically look for with magnetic polishes, this might be what you should go for. Okay, so Black Flame Candle is kind of a fun polish to describe. Personally, when I wore it just over my natural nail, I would describe this as a fully brown polish with pink iridescent flakies and a peach cat eye effect. However, if you go to Mooncat's website, it's described as a black magnetic polish. And when you look at their images, you see a little bit of both worlds. You see just the polish alone and you're seeing it over a black base. So we're getting some pretty neat color variation depending on what base color you wear underneath this polish. Just Keep that in mind if you're thinking about buying this one. Last but not least is We're Back Witches, which is just a great name to begin with. But this was my least favorite from the collection. This one was also being described as a black base, but to me it's a green base and it's just another one that changes completely when you wear it over a black base or a natural nail. But this was a green magnetic lacquer with lime green iridescent flakies and a green magnetic strip. And for me, the green on green action just kind of blended in together and I just wish there was just more contrast there as magnets, in my opinion, do best when the special effect and the base color are completely different. Again, that's just some food for thought, but let's move on to the stickers because that was kind of a huge thing. Here I am just showing you how I use stickers. I tend to pick them up with some tweezers, place them where I want, and then rub them in with my finger. And I really like the spider web sticker in particular. It just kind of fit the mood for me. I just enjoyed it, but I'm also going to show you some of the stars and uh, failed a little bit with picking it up with my tweezers. But yeah, this is just how I apply stickers. I don't know why I thought you needed a tutorial on that, but this was also a good chance for me to show you what these polishes looked like over black nail polish and also 
about 48 hours after application. So you're about to see all of the colors 48 hours after application and you're going to see some of that dispersal that I was talking about earlier. And I just wanted to include this in case what you see isn't your vibe. If you want something more crisp, I suggest going the gel route. But yeah, if this is what you like, perfect. And if it's not, now you know. Okay, so now that you've seen the polishes, what do you think? I'm generally not a huge magnet fanatic when it comes to nail polish, but I really like this collection and they're in a color scheme that I will wear in the future. I liked that the cat eye effect seemed to be quite strong in this one. I don't know how that works, but it definitely seems like Mooncat has a pretty good handle on the magnetic effect for this collection. And yeah, I just, I genuinely liked it. I'm a little bummed that the pre-order is going to be shipping so late. In case you wanted to use this for some Halloween nail art, you might have to order expedited shipping if they have that on their website. But if you're a fan of the movies, and you want something for maybe next year, check it out. The individual polishes are mostly available still. And thanks, Mooncat, for sending me a PR package. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about the collection or if you have any comments down below. I'll be on top of those this weekend. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll... Uh, oh, right, my my outro. If you like this video, like this video, and if you like my videos, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.